I'm worried guys. <laughs> this trailer here is the definitive trailer for me. So far I am not convinced in buying Infinity Warfare unless the zombies are good. Now I love zombies. I love zombies, that's why I bought Black Ops 3, because I knew the mod tools were coming out. And custom zombies is the best thing to ever happen to zombies. So Infinity Warfare zombies Right. So the trailer's just come out. Well it's not just come out, it's come out um let me double check here. Yeah, come out today. So <clears throat> We're going to go through this. I'm going to do what I do with the last trailer. I'm going to cut a bit so I'm not talking. Anything like that. Um, but, yeah, this is the main selling point for me right now. I'm interested in the campaign as long as it remains, like, somewhat boots on the ground. I'm not too interested in the multiplayer yet because I haven't shown any boots on the ground. Um, and they have said there is some and there isn't. And it's like, I, I definitely won't be doing the stuff that isn't. Um, but, yeah, I really hope the zombies is right. I, I, I don't want there to be exosuit zombies, that's definitely going to turn me off from the get-go. And, you know, I, I, I want I want proper zombies. Please, don't make this shit. <laughs> Let's get on with this trailer. <laughs> so, um, I'm not posting the full trailer. I don't ever post the full trailer. Uh, so if you want to see the trailer, quickly click the screen now where the black box is, and it will link you straight to the um, actual trailer. Um, I don't do that purely for um, it's 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 stealing basically, and I don't do that. So we're gonna just be using clips. If I mention something, I'll go back to it. But that's literally all I do. All right. Uh, anyway, this is how I feel. Reaction channels should be acting to the uh, videos they make. I mean, it's not even that hard of an edit job. But all right, I'm gonna sit back, relax, and start this video. Don't be shit. Don't be shit. Well, actually, if it is shit, I don't buy the game. It's that, it's that simple. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I, li I like the uh, 80s theme. Very, very nice. Four people, yay. And there's boots on the ground, yay. I like the theme part. MC bust your ass coming at you. Welcome to the dork side. Normally I'd say fight me, but like, let's not do that. Why were clowns invited? No one likes clowns. Yeah, it's definitely oh. the Zombies in Spaceland. <laughs> Pre-order and get the terminal bonus map and the Zombies in Spaceland pack. These kids are killing it, It's folks. fucking DLC. Oh my god, it's fucking DLC. Pack. Please. It's not even a part of the base game. Maybe it might just be the camo pack, but... Oh my god, if they've seriously made it so the actual zombies is not a base game, I would flip. I would flip. I would need to know that before I purchase this game. Because that looks really bad. Yeah, it says Zombies in Spaceland pack available. So it's fucking DLC. They're selling us this shit before we even bought the game. Oh my god. Uh... Well, that annoys me. The, the issue is, it looks okay. I don't get why David Hasselhoff is there. I mean, hey, he came to my school when I was a kid. Um, but that, uh, that's not literally all I really know about him. I know he did the Baywatch as well. But yeah, he came to my school as a kid because um, one of the radio show people that we was like introducing with. Um, the, the radio guy that went up and met him. He used to go to my school when he was a kid. Is this David Hasselhoff? Yeah, it's David, it's David Hasselhoff. So, yeah, I don't I don't know. Is he in control of the zombies by the looks of things, or is he just in control of the music? I'm, I'm getting this feeling that it's not going to be a story as depth as, um, of course, Black Ops, because they never will. Uh, there is an M1 Grand there, which is pretty nice. 
in that picture there. It's a really good picture. I do like the 80s feel, but I feel like this is going to be more of like an arena type match thing. Like, especially David Hassel up there. I feel like he's going to be setting up all this stuff. Like, maybe this is going to be a Zombie King sort of thing, like uh, from Zombie U, which honestly would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it does look pretty good for the most part. I do like the fact that it is boots on the ground. Uh, <laughs> The disco theme is pretty cool. I, I I still like the 80s theme. I don't know why. I've not really got a, like a fan fetish thing for the 80s theme, but I do like um, the way they went with this. And I I like the fact they've got like the social the um the stereotypes, the gangster rapper, uh, the hot dumbass, uh, hot dumb blonde, um, the jock that no one likes, and the nerd. Honestly, I'd probably prefer to play as the nerd out of everybody because if if you got like Weapon Pacific. Um, weapon specific things for your character you know I could imagine having a nail machine gun or something stupid like that um, like a you know <laughs> like a pop rocket bottle from bully <laughs> but that's I doubt there's gonna be weapon specific character like character specific weapons um, but yeah so the death machines there and we did see a freeze gun somewhere in here um, Oh uh, yeah, here's one of the traps, which you clearly saw. I don't use traps in zombies, um, but yeah, so these are clearly easter eggs, um, sort of things, or it's like an advancement, you have to hit them to get past these certain advancements. Um, but they're, they shoot them on purpose, so if I quickly put this in slow-mo, because I don't want um, the music playing. Actually, I could just turn it off. Um, yeah, like he's shooting the target, so clearly that's got some something to do with either an easter egg, or you have to shoot them to get through the uh, gallery thing they're in. And this is clearly the new monkey bomb. Um, <laughs> I'm cool with the dancing. The dancing is kind of um, mixed for me. I have no idea who his voice actor is, but I think I recognise him. Um, but yeah, so Nerd Gun. Introducing the characters is pretty cool. The arcade is... yeah. I do feel like this map's going to be way too easy though, by looking at it just on its own standpoint. Um, there's loads of wide open areas marked out. This area here, for, uh, for example, is like quite open area, and this looks like another trap. So it, it doesn't really help the um, whole aspect, because if the zombie map is too easy, then of course we're not going to want it. And let's just look back at that, that power again. And this girl, look, he smashes somebody with a um, baseball bat or something, and they dance, and they dance again, and they burn to death. Cool. Don't care about that. As long as they don't bring Michael Jackson back, I, I, I you know, if I'm dead, that'd be a bit... I, don't, I wouldn't be happy with that. But, um... Where is it? Oh, it's four. Uh, disco ball. There we go. The green power that she had. Either that's going to be an Easter egg weapon, or it's going to be a character-specific one. I do not want character-specific weapons or abilities in the game, please. Infinity Ward, don't do that. But it looks like you're doing that. Do not do that. As much as I said I would love the nail gun, but it's like, you know, anybody could do that. So please don't do that. Um, yeah, so we saw a freeze ray gun not too far after this, after the whole dinosaur head crushing thing. This is not a very safe theme park. Here it is. It looks like a cryolator thing from Fallout 4. Very big, very big. I don't know if it's going to be any good though. Because when it came to the Winter's Hell, we didn't like it at all. Because it didn't just kill the zombies, it kept them in place. And yeah, it's kept them in place, so it's going to be... We're, we're probably not going to use that at all. Because um, we don't want to be stuck in one place. We'll probably have to knife them. Hopefully we can just run through the frozen zombies. But even then, we can't see what's ahead of us. And that is going to be a massive issue when having that weapon. Um, unless it's a, like a drop like the Death Machine is, which I'd be okay with especially if um you know the map's big enough to handle like a lot of zombies and that i can actually get around if i like if i like shoot zombies in one area i'm not going to get blocked off because all the zombies behind them are crashing through and stuff like that but hopefully they've done it right um <laughs> i do like the big uh dude over here i, d I don't know all that see all these little traps i think they're traps uh for, oh, they might be weapons that's a clearly a ray gun and it sent a zombie flying. I don't... Yeah, I don't get that. But this bad guy over here. Um, this big guy. I like the look of him. It reminds me of when they showed the Magua. The only issue is, he's not creepy. And I don't like that. <laughs> um, it's just a massive brute zombie, like a tank from Left 4 Dead. It feels very unoriginal to me. 
Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what, what you could do for originality because off my head, the only things I could think of was like an acid blowy up guy, but that's from Left Dead as well. So yeah, I don't know how they could have changed that. Um, the tentacle monster was pretty sweet uh, from, of course, uh... <laughs> Shadows of Evil. <laughs> Uh, the Marguas, yeah, they they were pretty sweet because obviously they were a new design, but yeah, honestly, it did start to sell me a bit towards the end. But then, as soon as I read this, you lost me instantly. So, if Infinity Ward, you see this, please confirm the Zombies in Space is not a pre-order DLC, and you might have my pay. You might have me. You might have me by bye bye in this game, but. Yeah, um, for now, I don't really... Yeah, I don't I don't think I'll be getting that. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope this has given you my opinions and my reaction to the trailer. I don't know how to feel about this. I really do not know how to feel about this. It says right there at the bottom, Terminal Bonus Map and Zombie in Space Pack available for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. So, yeah, of course it's going to be an add-on. And <laughs> I really hope Terminal doesn't remain a bonus pack. Because what they did with Black... Well, actually, I hope it does remain a bonus map. Because I was pissed off when Nuketown became free for everybody. I mean, at least pay the... At least charge them a little. Because I actually paid the extra £5 to get Nuketown as a bonus fucking DLC thing. So it pissed me off. Um, but yeah. And what we get for that is a fucking skin. Um... I really hope this isn't their main big easter egg that David Hasselhoff has run the whole thing. That is the last thing I'm going to say, because uh, I've been going for like 12 minutes now, and I need to cut most of this anyway, uh, so it's probably going to be down to like 10, probably. But yeah, David Hasselhoff, he's an, he's an okay guy. Don't really know him that well. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know what he's been in. I know it was 80s, so the 80s theme does kind of fit, I guess. Uh... Hell, we might even see Mario and Sonic in this, to be honest. Because, you know, 80s. But I doubt that. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Please like, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully I'll have this video out by the day after this has come out. And the link for this should be on the beginning. And, of course, um, in the description somewhere, if I remember. I always forget to link the trailers and videos and stuff like that I do in the description. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe because I do gaming videos basically every day. I've been a bit lacking lately, but it should be over now and I should be back to full speed. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching. If we can get like a like of at least maybe five, even ten likes, that'd be pretty sweet. And I might do more trailer reactions. But yeah, bye.